Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 37, class 10, subject mathematics. So let's begin. Today, we are given practice test based on introduction to trigonometry. So here in this video, we are given 10 questions that are based on introduction to trigonometry, chapter 8, class 10. So let's begin for the solution of these questions. So first question is, write the measure of adjacent side, opposite side and hypotenuse of angle A. We have given triangle ABC as you can see on the screen. हमें एक triangle दी गई है जो कि ABC है, जैसा कि आप screen पर देख पा रहे हैं. In triangle ABC we have AB as three cent three unit, three unit and BC as three point three unit and AC as four point five unit. So adjacent side क्या हमारे पास three unit है जो कि आप देख सकते हैं. And opposite side that is BC, so that is three point three unit and hypotenuse that is four point five unit. So now proceed for question number two. If tan A equals to 3 by 4, then sin A into cos A will be equals to. So, the key tan A given hai 3 by 4. So we need to find sin A into cos A. So, you can see on the screen, we have triangle ABC in which angle A is here. Side opposite to angle A will be perpendicular, that is BC. And side adjacent to the angle A will be base, that is AB. And side opposite to the right angle will be hypotenuse, that is AC. So, we have tan A as 3 by 4. So, tan A will be equals to perpendicular upon base, that is BC by AB. We have given ratio as 3 by 4. So, let us assume side BC as 3K and AB as 4K. We have assume the side. Ko. So, that is BC equals to 3K and AB as 4K. So now by using Pythagoras theorem, that is hypotenuse square equals to sum of square of two smaller sides. That is AC square equals to BC square plus AB square. So AC square equals to BC we have 3K, so 3K square and AB we have 4K, so 4K square. So 9K square plus 16K square, this will be 25K square. So AC will be under the root 25K square. So the key square common transpose right hand side may become square root. So AC equals to under the root 25K square, that is equals to 5K. So we get AC as 5K. So now sin A into cos A will be equals to BC by AC into AB by AC. Put all the values here and we will get 12 by 25. So 12 by 25 is the answer. So sin A equals to into cos A will be equals to 12 by 25. So now proceed for question number 3. That is if x into 1045 into sin 30 equals to cos 30 into 1030 then the value of x is equals to and root 3, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2 and 1. So we have x into 1045 into sin 30 equals to cos 30 into 1030. Put all the values here. You know 1045 is 1, sin 30 is 1 by 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and 1030 is 1 by root 3. Root 3, root 3 will be cancelled. In the right hand side we have 1 by 2 and in the left hand side we have also x into 1 by 2. So now transpose 1 by 2 to the right hand side and become 2 by 1. So x equals to 1 by 2 into 2 by 1, 2, 2 will be cancelled and x equals to 1. So thus x equals to 1 and option D is the correct answer. So now proceed for question number 4. Sin square b equals to 2 sin b is true when b is equals to. So, we have a relation given as sin square b equals to 2 sin b. We have to ask the angle b ki value when this relation is equal to true. So, this will be equal to 0. When b is 0, then the relation will be true. So, now justification we have sin square b equals to 2 sin b. When b is 0, then sin square 0 degree equals to 2 sin 0 degree. And sin 0 degree, you know, 0 hota hai, sin 0 degree 0 hota hai, 0 square equals to 2 into 0, becomes 0 equals to 0 and the relation is true. So, thus option d is correct answer. Option d kya humara hoga? Right answer hoga. So, now question number 5. 5 10 square a minus 5 secant square a plus 1 is equals to 6 minus 5, 1 or minus 4. We have 4 options. So we are to tell right answer. So we have 5 10 square a minus 5 secant square a plus 1. So take 5 from first two terms. So 5 into 10 square a minus 5 secant square a plus 1. And we know that secant square a equals to 1 plus 10 square a hota. So we will get 10 square a minus secant square a as minus 1. So 5 into minus 1 plus 1. So this will be minus 5 plus 1 become minus 4. That is option D is right answer. So we will get the right answer. So now proceed for question number 6. If y sin 45 into cos 45 equals to 10 square 45 minus cos square 30, then y equals to. So, we have a relation given and we find out karna y ki value, just like you can see on the screen. Par. So, y sin 45 into cos 45 equals to 10 square 45 minus cos square 30. So, sin 45 is 1 by root 2, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, 10 45 1 hota, so that 1 square and cos 30 is a root 3 by 2, so root 3 by 2 square. So, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 become 1 by root 2 square equals to 1 minus 3 by 4 becomes 1 by 4. 
so y into 1 by root 2 square become 1 by 2 and in the right hand side we have 1 by 4 now transpose 1 by 2 the right hand side and become reciprocal so y will be 1 by 4 into 2 by 1 that is 1 by 2 so y will be 1 by 2 thus option b is correct answer option b kya hoga mara hoga right answer hoga so now question number 7 if sin a equals to 1 by 2 then the value of quote a hame quote a ki value find out karni hai and we have four options root 3 1 by root 3 root 3 by 1 and 1 so we have given sin a equals to 1 by 2 so now by using the identity sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1 put the value of sin a here 1 by 2 square plus cos square a equals to 1 1 by 2 square become 1 by 4 and plus cos square a equals to 1 so now transpose 1 by 4 to the right hand side become cos square a equals to 1 minus 1 by 4 this will be cos square a equals to 3 by 4 and cos a will be under root of 3 by 4 and this will be cos a equals to root 3 by 2 so quote kya hota hai cos by sin hota hai put the values of cos a and sin a here so cos a is root 3 by 2 and sin a is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 will be reciprocal and becomes 2 by 1 so 2 2 will be cancelled root 3 by 1 so thus quote a equals to root 3 by 1 and thus option c is right answer so now proceed for question number 8 given that sin theta equals to a by b then tan theta will be equals to so we will proceed like question number 7 so we have given sin a as sin theta as a by b by using sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so sin theta we have given that is a by b so a by b square plus cos square theta equals to 1 a square by b square plus cos square theta equals to 1 and cos square theta will be 1 minus a square by b square so now take the LCM and we will get cos square theta equals to b square minus a square by b now transpose this square to the right hand side becomes square root and we will get cos theta equals to under the root b square minus a square by b square so that cos theta will be under the root b square minus a square by b so now tan theta will be sin theta upon cos theta so that is a by b upon root of b square minus a square by b and now reciprocal this term and become b by under the root b square minus a square so b b will be cancelled and we will get tan theta as a upon under root b square minus a square thus option c is the right answer so option c mara kya right answer hoga so now proceed for question number 9 prove that tan theta plus 2 into 2 tan theta plus 1 equals to 5 tan theta plus 2 secant square theta so the key worksheet me 2 given nahi tha 2 right 2 aapko put karne ke baad hi statement aapke right hogi so aap right karenge 2 secant square theta so take left hand side tan theta plus 2 into 2 tan theta plus 1 so open the brackets first of all tan theta ko multiply karenge 2 tan theta se then aap 1 se multiply karenge then 2 ko multiply karenge 2 tan theta se aur 2 ko multiply karenge 1 se so we will get 2 tan square theta plus tan theta plus 4 tan theta plus 2 so now 2 tan square theta plus 2 in ko kathe kar rejiye first last term ko and tan theta plus 4 tan theta become 5 tan theta so first two terms have two common le rejiye we will get 2 into 1 plus tan square theta plus 5 tan theta 1 plus tan square theta you know secant square theta hota hai so that 2 secant square theta plus 5 tan theta and that is the right hand side so thus left hand side equals to right hand side that is 10 plus tan theta plus 2 into 2 tan theta plus 1 equals to 5 tan theta plus 2 secant square theta so question number 10 we have 1 plus cot square theta upon 1 plus cosecant theta equals to cosecant theta we have to prove hame prove karna hai so take left hand side that is 1 plus cot square theta upon 1 plus cosecant theta so now take the lcm and you will get 1 plus cosecant theta plus cot square theta upon 1 plus cosecant theta so now you can see 1 plus cot square theta becomes cosecant theta cosecant square theta so plus cosecant theta so the key identity of jante 1 plus cot square kya hota hai cosecant square theta hota hai so that cosecant square theta plus cosecant theta upon 1 plus cosecant theta so now you can take cosecant theta from common from the numerator so cosecant theta into cosecant theta plus 1 and cosecant theta plus 1 will be cancelled with 1 plus cosecant theta and we will get cosecant theta that is the required right hand side so this is all about question number 10 that is thus we can say 1 plus cot square theta upon 1 plus cosecant theta equals to cosecant theta so this is all about worksheet number 37 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching